What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Doors again. Um, as you can see I'm at level 50, we're gonna start where I left off, we're gonna see if I can beat level 50, I've gotten so close a lot of times, and we're gonna run in here. I know how to do it now, it just, the execution is challenging. So right off the bat, I do see two books. So basically, he cannot see you, but he can hear you. Um, so if if he hears you moving when you're near, he'll chase you, and you have to basically stand still before he starts doing that, or or else you're dead. Or if you get in his way as he's walking, you're also dead. Um, he does not come back here in this area, so we should be safe back here, unless he hears us, of course, then he'll start chasing us. But we have to find these books. Um, and then we have to find a piece of paper, which the paper spawns in the same place every time. But the books, the books can be challenging to find. That's normally why I die, is because I'm trying to get the books, and he, and I can't find one, and he comes down, and I get in his way, and he kills me. I can grab that quick. All right, so we need what? I think we need five. We need five codes. Technically, we need where we if we get lucky. We're gonna need five of the codes. If we're unlucky, we're gonna need more because you, once you grab that piece of paper, it tells you which combination is which, and you need the five different shapes. And if you get all of the five shapes in one, then you're good. But that's probably not the case. So we're gonna have to find a bunch of different books. Okay, so there's one. So you're just gonna grab that. I don't want to open any of these drawers because I don't know if that alerts him. So let's see which combinations do we need. We have one. We don't have two. We have three. We have four. We don't have five. So we need two and five. We need the circle and the square. Okay, so we're... Uh... We're gonna run for it. I wish you could actually run in this game. That might be a smart decision on the player's part to actually run if you're getting chased by this guy. So I'm gonna. There's one. Quick. There's none on that one. Take a little bit of time before he comes back up. There's one. Grab that one and then hide in this corner. There it is. That's the last one, I think. Yep, I got it. So I can now do the combination when he goes downstairs. Three. Three. Zero. So I'll just type that in, I guess. Three, zero. Now let's get into this corner since he's coming back up. He won't come over here. Then we can get the rest. Eight. So it's eight, zero, eight, zero. 801. 801. Okay. 30801. Let's get this. One. And then we got eight. And it's off. And we're good. Oh my god. We finally did it. That was by far the hardest level I've done in this game, and I have a feeling it's only going to get harder. Because the unfortunate thing about this is that if I get to a hard... Because this game is a, like, a learn as you go. Um, it even says that in the description or something like that. It tells you that it's a... As you go, you learn how to do this. So if I die in these next levels because I don't know how to beat them that means I gotta go back and do all of the other stuff that I already beat like that one seek the chase sequence with seek um, all that stuff I, got, I gotta go back and do that again oh it's halt okay run run So 
So if with halt, all you want to do is just when you see the little thing flash on your screen, I'm pretty sure that actually says turn around. You just want to run away from him, because if you keep walking towards him, he will attack you. But if you can get away from him and turn around and run away from him, he won't be able to hurt you. As you can see here, every time that that flashes on my screen, I just turn around and keep walking. Um, you'll be perfectly safe if that happens. It's scary, but it's not very dangerous if you know what you're doing. Okay, so as you can see, we're about out of that room. We're safe now. Um, he normally shows up in really long hallways like that, because that way you're not just like escaping imme immediately. You gotta kind of run away from him for a while. I've never seen this before. Can I just leave? Do I gotta do something in here? Huh. That's interesting. Okay. That was a little creepy. I thought I was gonna have to fight something. Okay, so there's another eyeball. That's interesting. Good thing I got a flashlight in there. Dark. Huh. Do I have to fight Seek again? Is he back? That would be weird. Unless it's a different monster and it's just the same thing. We're gonna see if we get into the... Yeah, okay, I guess I just have to do Seek again? Well, if this is Seek, all you have to do is just run. Look both ways when it comes to the fork in the road. Yeah, I guess I'm just fighting him again. Basically, you just run, you have to crouch, you have to avoid obstacles, and be ahead of him when you get to the doors. But, okay, so, yeah, it's different. Okay, thank god. If it was to the left, I would have died. Crap. Okay, we're safe. So it's just a longer version, I think. Okay, we're safe so far, we're good, I'm, uh, so this should be the end if I know, yeah, okay, so we're safe. That was pretty easy, I didn't realize we just had to fight him again. So as you see, as you saw me do that, all you have to do for him is just run, avoid the obstacles, find the right way to the door. The first time you meet him, it is easier, that was a, definitely a harder version of it because there was no crouching or anything, all you had to do was avoid the obstacles or not run into the wall because otherwise he'll catch you oh my god what was that thing oh my god you died to who you call ambush It's a tricky one. It's a terrifying one. Oh my god. Use what you learned from Rush. Yeah, I tried to, but I couldn't go anywhere because he was immediately back. What? Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I got to level, what, 90-something? Um... But I beat level 50, which was what I wanted to do. I wanted to get to the level 90. I wanted I wanted to finish it, but Ambush, um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna beat him. Um, I don't want to use any help. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. If you would mind, please subscribe, like, share, turn on notification bells so that I can grow. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be making more videos on, or on this game. Um, I didn't get very many views in the last one, but that's fine. I really enjoy this game, and I think that if I find the right stuff, then people will come. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm going to make my next video how to beat the game. Well, not necessarily how to beat the game, but just beating the game, and then I will do another video on how to survive all the different monsters. So be on the lookout for those if you enjoyed. But bye.